The Bible says he's the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. Now that's, now that's my, king. my king. David says the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. No means of measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his shoulders to fly. No barriers can hinder him from pouring out his blessings. Well, well, he's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's impurely powerful. And he's impartially merciful. That's my king. He's God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He stands alone in himself. He's august. He's unique. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's supreme. He's preeminent. Well, he's the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. He's the supreme problem in high criticism. He's the fundamental doctrine of true theology. He's the cardinal necessity of spiritual religion. And that's my king. He's the miracle of the age. He's the superlative of everything good that you choose to call it. He's the only one able to supply all of our needs simultaneously. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He star God and he dies. He heals the sick. He cleans the lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors. And he delivers the captives. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the age. He rewards the diligent. And he beautifies the meek. Do you know him? <laughs> my king is the key of knowledge. He's a wellspring of wisdom. He's a doorway of deliverance. He's a pathway of peace. He's a roadway of righteousness. He's a highway of holiness. He's a gateway of glory. He's the master of the mighty. He's the captain of the conquerors. He's the head of the heroes. He's the leader of the legislators. He's the overseer of the overcomers. He's the governor of governors. He's the prince of princes. He's the king of kings. And he's the lord of lords. That's my king. Yeah. His office is manifold. His promise is sure. His life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Well, I wish I could describe him to you. But he, he's indescribable. He's indescribable. Yeah. And he, he's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. I'm trying to tell you, the heavens of heavens cannot contain him, let alone a man explaining him. You can't get him out of your mouth. You can't get him off of your hands. You can't outlive him. And you can't live without him. Well, Pharisees couldn't stand him. But they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. The witnesses couldn't get their testimony to agree. And Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him. And the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king. Yeah. He always has been. And he always will be. I'm talking about he had no predecessor. And he'll have no successor. There was nobody before him. And there'll be nobody after him. You can't impeach him 
and he's not going to resign. That's my right. And the power and the glory, the glory is all his. Time is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. And when you get through with all of the forever, then amen. Yeah.